Sometimes it takes a seven-year-old to remind us of when we're being a jerk. And this is a story about Giovanni Alvarado, seven-year-old kid who was traveling on a plane with his mom and dad. And his dad has stage four terminal cancer. The reason they're traveling is so that they could have some memories together because they know that his dad is dying. And so they got on the plane and somebody had a dog on the plane and Giovanni had a severe aller allergic reaction to the dog. It caused the plane to be delayed and they had to eventually bring on medics onto the plane and eventually deplane the whole family. When they left the plane, people on the plane started clapping because yay, they're finally off, now we can get going. And it, it broke the family's heart because people don't know what's going on with this family. They don't know what they're going through, but it's the kid's reaction that really hits you in the heart to make you realize, oh gosh, grown-ups can be such jerks sometimes. Uh, some, uh, so this is what Christina Fabian said. This is the mother uh, telling us about the account. She says, we're not angry uh, that we were deplaned. In fact, my husband, husband and I appreciate that our son is safe. What crushed us was that our seven-year-old boy looked at us with tear-filled eyes and said, I'm sorry that I put you through this. This is all my fault. Then he proceeded to say, I can't believe that people clapped. They shouldn't do that because they never know who already has sadness in their hearts. What, I mean, leave it to a seven-year-old, right? Out of the mouths of babes in this instance. And it is, it's unfortunate. He's, you know, on this plane trying to make memories with his father who's dying of terminal cancer and people can't even get past their own whatever issues. Like, oh, I'm gonna be delayed on this plane to take a moment and say, hey, those are human beings sitting there. Yeah, and sometimes the children are, are wise beyond their years and, and, and Giovanni is being uh, forced to deal with something very, very difficult knowing that he's losing his father. And for a seven-year-old to try to comprehend that, it's very, very difficult. Uh, what he, he was interviewed by a local news uh, outlet after this story broke, and he said this, people that do not have sadness do not understand what it feels like for people who do have sadness. And, and uh, it's, it's so heartbreaking. It makes you feel like a real jerk. Like a, and, and, and this father, who is also, of course, dealing with his, his own imminent death, had, had to deal with, he was on the plane as well. Yeah, and as a parent, you wanna protect your child. You wanna make sure that your kid is safe. And in this instance, he's having an allergic reaction to someone's dog, you know, and this dog is flying in the cabin. That person probably didn't even care what was going on in their life. It's like, how dare you be offended that my dog is here, but, you yeah. know. And the family took issue with a, a, a certain person on the plane crew who didn't take them seriously when they said he was having an allergic reaction. They were like, well, there's always dogs on planes. Well, this is the first time the kid had a, a, a severe allergic reaction to a dog, and it was a medical emergency. They had to bring a medic onto the plane and everything. It takes something like this, and it's, it's like a heartbreaking story, but at the same time it's heartwarming, where you see a, a family who, who makes everything else make much more sense to us and it makes us think twice before we treat somebody a certain way because we don't know what's going on with them. We have no idea what's happening. George Alvarado, the father, said this, you just don't know how much time people have or why they're hurting. Just be nice. Be kind. That's a, it, it breaks my heart to hear this story. I hope they have plenty of time together to get plenty of memories.